Julia Diamonds, a good subject for a stormy day. Um, the Russian government is selling off a 16% stake in Al Rosa, which is the state-owned diamond miner. It seems to have priced at the end of the, at the bottom end of the range, yet it's oversubscribed and prices the company, I think, at about $8 billion. Can you just sort of explain what's going on? Um, yes, yeah, so I mean, the thing is, is that after the listing, as you mentioned, it's a very small free float. So obviously they're going to have um, a lot of difficulty persuading investors um, that, um, that you know, their interests will be aligned with investors' interests. So that's sort of one reason why they priced it fairly low. Um, and also um, they managed to get sort of the buy-in of the Russian government and, and cornerstone investors. So that's how they've sort of helped to get um, this to be oversubscribed. Right. Is it an attractive company when one looks at it relative to other mining com other diamond mining companies? Well, it's certainly it's the biggest diamond um, miner in the world, um, and um, I mean De Beers is after them. So in terms of production, in terms of carrots, they're um, above um, De Beers, but the quality of their diamonds isn't quite as as good. So on a value basis, um, they're smaller than De Beers. Um, however. Um, in terms of um, the sort of access to diamonds and their mines is much easier, so their operating profits um, are, are higher than to beers. Where are most of their mines? Um, most of their mines are in the north, far northeast of Russia, and they have a share now in a mine in, in Angola in, in Africa. Um, but we're talking mostly um, in Russia, and Russia and Africa in total, that's where most of the world's um, diamond reserves are. So um, they're, they're certainly in the right regions geographically. And what about diamonds generally as a... As a, a product? I mean, wh where have prices been going and what's driving demand? So diamond prices fell significantly after the financial crisis and that was really as a result of production had really ramped up. Um, now all producers have um, cut back um, production levels quite a lot. So although diamond prices have fallen over the last um, couple of years, they've now started to stabilise and now remain above um, pre-crisis levels. So overall, pricing-wise, um, it's sort of it's to stabilise. It doesn't look to be growing, but equally, it's not really falling anymore either. Well, that sounds like an interesting float um, in an industry that's interestingly poised. Thanks, Julia.